Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for our 22nd week of Tuesday Tunes. That's our, our, uh, our live stream concert series here at New Brighton United Methodist Church. We live stream it every Tuesday on, uh, from, from our chapel here at New Brighton United Methodist Church. Um, up today, we have uh, some special guests here, Dave and Kim Wolbert. You might recognize that name. These are my parents. They drove all the way from Ashland, Ohio, which is a small town right in between Cleveland and Columbus. So they traveled pretty far away to help us out with some music tonight. So um, really, I'm really excited to have them here. It's always cool to, to be able to make music and, and worship with your family. Um, that first song is a song by uh, Brian Dorkson. I don't know if I said that right, but Brian Dorkson, that's what we'll call him. <laughs> called uh, Come Now is the Time to Worship, just a great song to prepare us for, for this night of worship together. Um, and then uh, I'm going to turn it over to... So my parents here, and they'll, they'll, they're going to they're gonna offer up a few songs for us here. There's a peace I've come to know, though my heart and flesh may fail. There's a I can say it is well. Jesus has overcome, and the grave is overwhelmed. The victory is won. He is risen from.
comes drawing near when this darkness breaks to light and the shadows disappear and my faith shall be my eyes Jesus has overcome and the grave is overwhelmed the victory is won he is risen from the dead and I will song that we're going to worship with tonight is called Above All. It's a Paul Balash song, Lenny LeBlanc. Um, I'm going to take this one by myself. I, I really enjoy doing this one. It, it's one that makes me think of um, some of the first times I started worshiping to contemporary Christian music, and so it just brings me back to a simpler time when I um, just kind of fell into it like a child, worshiping um, with my whole heart. So, Above All. Above all powers, above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all 
took the fall and thought me above next song we're going to do is a song that's performed um, by a couple called The Slays. And this is, um, The Slays just came out with an album fairly recently. Um, and we are just eating this album up. We can't stop listening to it. And this is one of the songs. We just love the words and we love the message. So, Shifting Shadows. song that um, we're going to perform is called My Life Flows On, an Endless Song, and this is a hymn. And this hymn for a long time has meant a lot to me um, because it's basically talking about this inmost calm that we have um, 
when we are secure in Christ's love for us and when we're secure in our eternity. And, um, you know, we are not promised a life full of happiness. Um, and yes, we have happy times, but sometimes times aren't so happy. Um, and this song is talking about remaining steadfast in your faith and, and still relying um, on the one who is in control and knows all, even though we don't always understand everything. And we are actually going to do this song for um, Friday for my, my husband Dave, his mom's um, memorial service. And we kind of found out through the grapevine that this was her favorite hymn. And it just totally made sense because, of course, this would be her favorite hymn because she was um, such a beautiful person um, who lived life with kindness and um, with a strong faith. And... Um, it just made sense. So I think this is a fitting tribute to her. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just happy to sing it um, tonight. I'm happy to sing it Friday night because um, the words are just, just so important and powerful. And I've gone back to these words many times in my life. So my life flows on an endless song. I catch the sweet though far off in that hails a new creation. No storm can shake my inmost calm while to that rock I'm clinging since Christ
How can I keep from singing? How can I keep from singing? Thank you so much. Um, for having us here tonight. Um, it is such a joy for us to be able to um, sing and play and worship with David. We actually get a little nervous because he's such a good musician. We feel a little shy next to him, but um, so we love, we love worshiping alongside him. And um, thank you for letting us share a piece of our hearts with you because that's what leading worship is, is sharing a piece of our hearts and helping us all um, walk towards glorifying Christ. So thanks for letting us be here tonight. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this time of worship and thank you for this time where you can be lifted up high and glorified. And I pray, Lord, that um, regardless of what anyone is dealing with right now that's tuning in today, um, where they're on a high mountaintop or they're in a low valley, Lord, our, our lives change and go up and down in life, but you remain consistent. And even when we know nothing else, we know that you are good. And we can lean on that truth that you are good and you are faithful. And we can be secure um, in the knowledge that um, we have eternity with you. We love you, Lord. And we ask all this in your name. Amen.